This is the Jocko Underground Podcast with Echo Charles sitting across the table from me. Mm-hmm. And I am Jocko Willink. Control-Alt-Delete. Do you remember Control-Alt-Delete? Is that still a thing? It is okay. still a thing. So, so I yes. use an Apple computer system. So what is yours? Command? Well, what's interesting Command. is, here's what's interesting. Straight up, honestly, <laughs> when you have a Apple computer you don't even really remember what the reset button is because it mm-hmm. doesn't happen very often. Mm-hmm. And I know there's some software engineer reason for this. Mm-hmm. Kernels? Is that, is that something to do with kernels? I don't know what kernels is. I don't know either. But the way the Apple system is designed, mm-hmm. it, doesn't get ja- get, it doesn't get jammed up Jammed. as much as the Windows operating system. Okay. That's just this, those are just facts, bro. Sure. When I went, I went on deployment one time. Before I went on deployment, I used that. I used Windows my whole life, like most people, right? Mm-hmm. I guess most people. At the time, most people were using Windows, and in the military, it's one hundred percent Windows. There were no apples. And I was going on deployment, and somebody, one of my friends, just kept telling me Apple, 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 like hype, 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 right? Mm-hmm. So finally, <clears throat> I got my wife an Apple computer before I went on deployment. And when I came home, and so I got it set up for, and it's a little different. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different. You know, you're kind of a little bit unsure. There's some techniques that are different. Mm -hmm. Have you ever even used an Apple? Yes, sir. Okay. So I didn't know these techniques, but got the thing set up for my wife. Mm -hmm. I come home from deployment, what, six, seven months later, I come home. And the computer was on, whatever, and I'm like working with it. And for some reason, it came up and said, well, how, you know, how many times have you had to restart this? She said, zero. Zero times. The computer was up and running for six straight months. Now, it wasn't like it's under massive stress of high-level computations, mm-hmm. but sure enough, the thing kept up and running. And when I, because a Windows computer at that time, this mm-hmm. is like 2003, mm-hmm. 2004, if you got a Windows computer, you were resetting that thing maybe once every other day. You had to, you had to do what I'm talking about, which is a little bit of the old control alt delete. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that thing is on a Apple computer. On the Apple computer, I, I usually just turn it off or just hold the power button down. If something goes wrong, which go, doesn't go wrong for months, for months, stays up and running. Did your Windows computer stay up and running? Uh, no, you're, I'm, well, what I'm thinking about your whole scenario, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that makes you have to go control alt delete even on a windows no but this is back in the day back too. in the day and then it must have been like kind of a clunky computer probably yeah i mean okay a video editing okay yeah you put in some high re- yeah. high resolution freaking files yeah and then you start trying to do effects and all at the same time oh yeah control alt delete for sure but not jocko in 2004 that's, 2004, not, that's not happening like with you one email and a word document <laughs> yeah, I know, man. why am i that <laughs> thing locking up yeah unless you're opening some spam or something like this where you know how they send you the spam and you gotta execute i don't know file. but but you know when i was going to college I, the only thing i like just to put it in perspective Truly, the only thing I would be doing on these things was literally, I don't think I've ever edited a video. Maybe I've edited now, I've edited a couple on my phone. Yeah, on my telephone, still. I'd edit a video now. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got skills. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit different, but yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, control, alt, delete, or power down. What, what are these things for? These are, these are like physical actions that you can take when the software on your computer or on your phone or on your printer is confused or locked up or bogged down with too much information or not enough information or it's just going into brain freeze, right? That's what happens. Is that why it happens? Because I don't really know. I'd say that's a good analogy for sure. So what you do is you override the software with the hardware, with the hard shutdown. You override it. You say, hey, listen, all these little weird ones and zeros that you've got going on, we're just we're just cutting the power. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. Mm-hmm. You override it. Well, the same thing actually happens to us as humans. See what I'm saying? I can see you're mm-hmm. nodding your head. You're totally. nodding your head. You're like, yes, Jocko's on this. Mm-hmm. We, in our own heads, in our own heads, we get bogged down we get distractions, we get rationalizations going on, we get debates going on in your own head. And what I'm telling you now 
is that the solution to these brain cycles where they get caught in a continuous cycle of distraction or caught in a continuous cycle of rationalization or whatever, the solution is the same. It's a hard action that you have to do. To, to, it's a manual override. We have the capability of manually overriding <clears throat> our software. And the way you do that is by taking action. So, it's, again, here's the problem. Like, if, imagine if the, if the computer had a, a, a robot arm, a robot hand, let's sure. say, yeah. and it was aimed, there's a finger on the robot hand, and it was aimed at the button. Sure. <laughs> Wait, which button? The, the on-off. Reset. The okay, on-off, on-off or okay. the reset button. Okay. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's aimed at that. Mm-hmm. And if you're in normal operating, you could say, oh, shut the computer down, and that robot hand would press the button. Mm. Right? Okay, cool. But when it's in brain freeze, it can't even do that. Right? right? It just It's just locked up. Mm. That happens to us in, in our brains, right? We, mm. we're, we know we're supposed to work out, and we just go into lock mode. Yeah. We know we're, we're supposed to go talk to our subordinate about the fact that they're late for the th- third time, and you know you should do it, but instead you just go into brain lock. Mm. Maybe your wife's doing something that's could be detrimental to the relish, right? <laughs> sure. And you know you should say something. Yeah. Even you know you should take an indirect approach, but you know you need to contend with this scenario that's happening. Yeah. But what do you do? Nothing. Brain lock. Yeah. So you freeze. So what I'm saying is you can actually do a manual override of these situations. And you can f- you need to make yourself take action. So you're saying take action in that direction that you're uh, intentionally or, or yes. intending to. Yes, do. take action in that direction that you know you should. And but the hard part about it is, your brain is the one that's controlling that robot finger. That's the hard part. Yeah, you have to. You have to. That's why you have to be able to detach from it. Yeah. You have to be able to take a step outside of your software system and just slam your fist onto that finger and make that thing hit yeah. reset, yeah. which means. When the alarm clock goes off in the morning, get up. Don't wait, don't hesitate. When the alarm clock goes off in the morning, get up. Mm. When you get into the gym, like set, you know what, I, here's, a, here's, a, here's an example. When we're gonna roll the jujitsu. When we come in, get, when everyone gets on the mat, I immediately start the clock for five minutes to start stretching, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You have five minutes to stretch. Mm-hmm. If you don't put a clock, on that, how long are we stretching for? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a long time, because you know people are stretching, they're kind of talking, oh, yeah. they got things Pinching to tell up. you, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, real, real important stuff. Yep. That's real, that's real. So when you go in there, start the clock. Mm-hmm. You, should put a, you should put a timer on everything that you do, basically. I agree. Basically, that's what should be happening. Everything that you do, you should say, all right, I have to commence, you should be a, a countdown to go, and then a certain amount of time to get her done. That's the way you need to operate. That takes you out of this software brain lock that you can get inside your own head. Yeah. So that's my recommendation. Yeah, uh, right. you um, that that's such a good idea. The clock thing. So even workouts, because I'm the same way. Well, I know you already know that about me because I'm the one number one culprit with the talking thing. Well, you you ever seen when I I I'll put like a, a post on the gram? Yes, yes, I and do. I'll say something like uh, hesitated stretched, yeah. procrastinated, you know, I'll be, especially on, let's face it, on, on leg day, you know, <laughs> when, we're, when we're squatting, yeah. can spend an inordinate amount of time stretching, yeah. you can spend an or, inordinate amount of time checking your form, you know, with the PVC pipe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're just doing all kinds of dumb stuff, because mm-hmm. you, know, you know what you should be doing. Yep. So you need to get over that. Yeah, yeah. You true. have five minutes to stretch, son. Yeah. And that's like, well, I mean, obviously it depends on your body, but five minutes, that's a long time. That's solid right there. Again, depends, so that don't. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, if you don't, and it depends on what kind of person you are. But, yeah, if you got other stuff on your mind, especially if you have other stuff on your mind, don't let it be like three, four things on your mind. And then now you got to go focus on some thing. Meanwhile, these things pull. And then, yeah, you get that weird brain lock thing. Um, I w- and tell me, tell me what you think about this. 
So I thought when I first, when you first started going into it, control, all delete, I was like, oh yeah, that's like a vacation. You take a vacation. (laughs) 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 That's what it is. In a uh, way, in a in a your mind's, what you, what's the, your mind's like, always in the tropics. <laughs> I was gonna say the gutter, but it's actually in the tropics. The it's tropic. actually down the beach. Hundred percent. It's so actually the, over by the pool. So you got uh, <laughs> chronic. What's the two? Chronic and acute. We'll say. Mm-hmm. So it feels like you're talking about like acute brain lock. We'll call mm-hmm. it for lack of a better. But if you got chronic brain lock, yeah. where it's like. You can't think of this direction where you need to go or this like and that. This and this thing. Yeah, scenario. your whole life is Strategic sort of bogging scenario. down. Yeah. And you feel like, because, you know, you can get, and it's like a version of tunnel vision or whatever, where you're like going in this direction and you're like, man, it's not, it's not like I can't figure this thing out, whatever direction you're going in. And you've been working at it for how long and it's still not just, it's not producing. Mm-hmm. And then you a lot of times your solution is to detach because from a different perspective you're like oh shoot i missed all this other stuff and then boom but vacation in a big way (laughs) depends on where you go depends on what you're doing it depends on who you're with but vacation in a big way can provide that (laughs) (laughs) then why aren't you coming up with nobel prize winning ideas on a regular basis homie you should have cured cancer by now bro (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> Think about it. Even if you physically go, like, super high, like, on a mountain or something like that, like, it'll kind of provide that for your brain. It's true. That is true. Uh, <laughs> what you said about me detaching to find a solution to the problem, yeah. I was talking about this on the Academy the other day, and what I said was the solution. That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to JockoUnderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us so thank you it's jockounderground.com it costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground